Niggas be thinking I'm deep, intelligent, fooled by my college degree. My IQ is average, there's a young lady out there, she way smarter than me. I scroll through her timeline in these wild times and I started to read. She mad at these crackers, she mad at these capitalists, mad at these murder police. She mad at my niggas, she mad at her ignorance, she wear a heart on the sleeve. She mad at the celebrities, low key I be thinking she talking about me. Now I ain't no dummy to think I'm above criticism, so when I see something that's valid, I listen for shit. It's something about the queen tone that's bothering me. She strike me as somebody blessed enough to grow up in conscious environment. With parents that know about the struggle for liberation and in turn they provide it with a perspective and awareness of the system and a fairness that afflicts them and the clearest understanding of what we got to do to get free. And the frustration that feels the worst seems to come from the fact that most people don't see. Just cause you woke and I'm not, that shit ain't no reason to talk like you better than me. How you gonna leave when you attacking the very same niggas that really don't need this shit that you saying? Instead of command, you holier, come help us get at the speed. Shit, it's a reason it took like 200 years for our answers is just to get free. These shackles be locking the mental way more than the physical. I look at freedom like trees, can't grow for us like overnight. Hit the ghetto and slowly start planting your seeds. Fuck is the point of you preaching your message to those that already believe what you believe? I'm on some fucking retweet, most people are sheep. You got all the answers, but how you gon' reach? If I can make one more suggestion respectfully, I would say it's more effective than treat. People like children, understanding the time and love and patience that's needed to grow. This change is inevitable, but ain't none of us seen this before. Therefore, we just gotta learn everything as we go. I struggle with thoughts on the daily, feel like a slave to somehow to say the no coins to buy his way up out of slavery. Think it just maybe in my pursuit to make life so much better for me and my baby. Try to betray the very same people that look at me like a Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. I am on a Cherie. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're returning, you already know what it is. So, y'all, we have waited a vlog already. Not mine. Not mine. But I just put up the CVS. Um, I'm about to go in here and get some peroxyl, I believe it's called, for my my gum. Because when I go to the um to the orthodontist, I want to make sure my teeth are my gums and my teeth are good um so there's no issues with them taking my braces off it is but sometimes i be feeling like cvs not for black people that's just me but um yeah i'm about to head in here and see if they got it and then we're gonna head home to eat and then my professor canceled our meeting today so canceled it just to push it to tomorrow but that's fine because i still got to get the video out for y'all today hopefully y'all are enjoying this vlog vlogmas series it's a it's a lot different from how i did it the first year for sure so yeah i'm about to go in here and get this medicine y'all this is exactly why i hate coming in cbs because oh wait, I was about to say I don't see it. But it's right here. This junk is ten dollars. Ten dollars. For this. It's not even a lot in here. But it works. Y'all just got hydrogen peroxide in it? I didn't even know that. I should have but um, yeah, so I got what I came for. I'm about to get it. I don't feel like going to know this store, so. <sighs> Welcome. If you have your extra care card, please scan it now. Hey y'all, so I just got out of the shower. Um. Yeah, I was I was trying to jump start it because I remember you saying that he called you like an hour late and that he was telling you that he was losing another dude too. Currently on a group call yeah, so apparently, um, to check in on my friend. But, a dude um, that he was um, in talks with and I guess he was in the same boat as I was. That um, he was going to transfer from Tennessee. So, uh, yesterday, but yeah, think about it. They really built a powerhouse over there. That's why I said that, like this year especially, because. Yeah, I'm about to do a face mask. Because my skin is feeling so dry. But yeah, basically ended with him saying. Like what he was texting me, but in a long winded person. And then saying, Yeah, he won't change my mind. And he was saying, Maybe he could bring me on as a GA the next year, but I'm like, Bro, maybe. Ain't no maybe. 
Either you know or you don't. Yeah. But it was convincing. And he was like, <laughs> well, you mentioned that about your situation. Then he was like, it sounds like a whole mess. A whole what? 